in which we can see that the overall architecture is preserved. You'll see portal areas here, possibly here, probably here, certainly here, but notice that the central vein areas, uh, the central portions of the lobule, do not look very viable anymore. Rather than seeing nice cords leading into central veins, we see the cords and sinusoids generally going towards the central vein, but the central veins are not only congested and hemorrhagic, but they're necrotic. And they are chronically congested because you could see that the macrophages here and here and here and here and here have swallowed up the hemosiderin pigment. So that uh, qualifies this as being chronic passive congestion. The reason why it is passive is because the obstruction of flow has been upstream, probably at the level of the heart, and with the uh, right ventricle not being able to uh, work very well, perhaps due to heart failure or infarction, the flow is backed up into the liver, and the uh, part of the liver that gets affected the most is the central portion of the lobule, because those are the parts that will be feeding into the hepatic veins. Also note that you can see another uh, necrotic lobule here. You can see another necrotic lobule here. You could probably recognize this is probably part of a portal area. But the thing that you should uh, try to find in these, here's another centrally necrotic uh, lobule. Let's try to find a portal vein area very nicely. Perhaps here. Notice that uh, there is no extension of fibrosis from one portal area to another, and therefore this really cannot qualify as being a, a cirrhosis in any way. Uh, however, with enough long-standing uh, central lobular necrosis, these necrotic areas with fibrosis can extend from portal vein to portal vein, uh, causing nodules and fibrosis between the portal areas, which is defined as cirrhosis. Let's see what this might look like grossly. Well, grossly, the liver would not look uniform. And you could see that these red streaks represent congested and possibly even necrotic uh, central vein areas. These red streaks are all blood, and they are central veins uh, showing congested blood. Have you ever seen a nutmeg before? Even better yet, have you ever seen the cut surface of a nutmeg? This is a nutmeg, and in addition, here's a cut surface. Notice how you have these little brownish-reddish streaks within the nutmeg with lighter browner areas in between the streaks. Well, that's exactly what we see in a liver with chronic passive congestion. The uh, darker uh, linear areas represent the streaks, and the lighter areas represent the intervening uh, non-hemorrhagic areas. That's why they call this a nutmeg liver. Thank you very much.